Catching the Milk Train. Come on, come on. Where is that silly little engine? Morning, James. Don't morning, James, me. Where have you been? You dawdle so much, I'm surprised my paint hasn't gone from red to rust. If you'll kindly look to the station clock, you'll find I'm right on time. Impatience will get you nowhere, and you'll get me nowhere if you don't couple those silly tankers to my train. I say, what rudeness we have to deal with. He should be so grateful to pull us. Oh, some engines never learn. If there's one thing James hates more than taking goods trains, it's waiting for more trucks to be added to them. The fat controller had taken away his passenger privileges and hoped goods work would teach him not to be so stuck up. So far, all it succeeded in doing was making life hard for poor Toby and Daisy. The milk tankers they bring from the dairy are very important, but they were all just trucks to James. You'd think this milk was bound for the queen herself with all the fuss made over it. I can't believe my coaches have been taken away for this. Will you quit your boiler aching? Just be glad you've got any work to do at all. Besides, you'd be treated like a celebrity if we were on the Great Western. The milk train was a great source of pride for us. You'd be honored to be able to take it. If you hadn't noticed, we're not on the Great Western, and I'm not proud to be pulling these rotten trucks. If you like them so much, then take them away. Now, the milk tankers are not like other trucks on Sodor. They don't have minds for mischief and go quietly wherever they are pulled. But they don't stand for rudeness. It seemed they had finally reached the end of their couplings with James. One more ride with old Red and my buffers are sure to fall off. We're above this sort of treatment. We carry precious goods, you know. If he treats us poorly even when we do come quietly, then perhaps it's time for tactical procedures, old boys. You're not suggesting... Exactly that. Who's with me? And so, the tankers put their plan into action. The constant delays landed James in hot water with the fat controller and the dairy manager. Their message to him was blunt. You'll keep pulling goods trains until you learn to keep to time. And that had better happen soon, or I'll take my business to the lorries. James was determined not to let that happen. He tried and tried, but the tankers continued to give him grief. One morning, he arrived later than ever at the big station. To make matters worse, Duck had been called away to help with a breakdown up the line. James had to shunt the trucks himself. He soon found himself face to face with the tankers. Deary me, Big Red, I thought you were meant to be reliable. Milk cannot be delayed, my boy. Perhaps we should let the lorries have a go. That's enough. Good gracious! Stop! Stop! After them, duck! Quickly! Save our precious load! I'm going to be ill! My city of Truro's tender! Save us! At last, duck overtook the trucks. The tankers hit duck's buffers with a bump. Breaking carefully, duck and his driver managed to slow the tankers right down to a crawl. Whew! No crying over spilled milk today, lads. <laughs> I don't suppose you'll give me trouble going back to the station, will you? Trouble? For a western engine? Nonsense! With that, Duck pushed the tankers all the way back to the big station, where he found the fat controller waiting for him. Well done, Duck. I'm very proud of you. Goodness knows what could have happened if they'd gone further down the line. Oh, and it appears they've taken a liking to you. How would you like to be in charge of the milk trains going forward? Oh, sir, it would be my honor. Oh, but who will take care of the shunting, sir? <laughs> well, 
I know a certain red engine who could stand to learn a thing or two about handling trucks. And so, Duck took charge of the milk trains. He was thrilled by the responsibility, and the tankers were very pleased to be pulled by a great western engine. The trains were punctual, and there was no more talk from the dairy manager about going to the lorries. But what about James? Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, why couldn't you be nice coaches instead? Enjoying the yard atmosphere, James? At least I'm not pulling that stinking milk train anymore! Suffice to say, James still has much to learn.